Hello guys and uh, welcome to uh, another get fix repair video this is more like a, uh, a kind of an update or a second part to the first video I did whilst trying to repair this um, TV um, you can remember the temporary fix that we tried with the silly tape uh, by or by taping some pins right now I got if you remember that video had left of this side being kind of purple and i intentionally used this background so that you could see an improved um, kind of way of getting the tv um, much more viewable right now the purple thing is is no longer there but um, when i draw very close to it you would see you see the lines in there right there are some lines that are showing uh you see all those black lines so that is one other issue that um, I'm trying to fix but this fix that I got was from another um, youtuber who gives some very good insights on how to basically improve the temporary fix using the tape I will link his um, uh, his channel in the description um, his channel is power led electronics now he if you speak spanish and you or you understand spanish it will be great for you because he gives a much more detailed explanation of how to get it much better and so um this is how far i brought it and um, i'm going to show you what i did on mine so this is basically what i have done so far um now from my previous uh, video i was able to identify the pants that had the issue so i taped them and so when I taped them, I taped two pins, actually three pins, two pins, that was eight and nine, and then 17. So by doing that, I did a continuity test from here to the other side. They have the same stuff there, CK1, CK2, and all the other stuff. So I did a continuity test, placing one probe there and placing the other probe on the other side. So I was able to identify the three pins here that was giving me the issues. And that was pin CK1, CK2, and then VGH. Okay. So um, now when you look at the video I recommended, um, that is PowerLED Electronics, he removed all the resistors here. And um, I'm pretty sure they, remo they removed the resistors just to be able to get access to be able to separate the voltages. From my understanding, what the person was doing was that he was separating the voltages that was going to the motherboard and the voltage that was going to the panel. Because the shot is coming from the panel, right? So that is basically what he was doing. And so um, I cut the lines. I cut the CK1, CK2, and it's going to be the same thing as putting um, cell tapes here, right? Or taping here. I was able to identify CK1, CK2, and VGH, so I cut those ones and I removed the resistors there for those ones only, okay? This capacitor here has 13 volts coming from it, so I connected that 13 volts to the VGH, that is the, that is the, um, that is the, when you remove the resistor, when you remove the resistor, the top one is where that is the voltage going into the panel. The bottom one is just ground, okay? The resistors, right? This small resistors you see, the top one is voltage going into the panel, and then the bottom one is ground. And then the top connections that you see here are the ones that are going to the motherboard. So <clears throat> when I connected it, that is the image that I showed you at the beginning of this video, okay? It took away all the most of the purple lines compared to what I had before. Okay, so cont in continuing his video, and I recommend that you watch that video. I have it in the description. Okay, what he is doing was that he pl he placed he placed uh, a DC to DC step down. Okay, a DC to DC step down to be able to vary to um, to vary the voltage okay this is the uh, the potentiometer right that he will use to vary the voltage going into the panel and basically he's saying that you are able to vary it until your lines it it improves 
the image that you have so that's what i'm going to do okay so um i had i tried um uh, power led electronics uh, uh, procedure and um, this is what i've done so far okay this uh, i put in the dc uh dc to dc converter um, this is more like a step down so um the voltage here we have two voltages here okay um one voltage is going into the motherboard and one of them is going into the panel itself okay and then there's another connector for ground so you would have to do it very delicately so um you connect uh, this this thing here is getting the supply from the 24 volts or approximately 25 volt that goes into the to the motherboard so if i if i touch it here you will see 25 volts okay now that is what is feeding this dc converter okay the step down and um by using this thing here um see if i can zoom in a bit okay Mm -hmm. by using this uh, dial here i basically dialed until i got about 15 volts okay and this 15 volts is what this this tiny piece of wire here okay that is what is going into that is what is going see if i can It's difficult to hear. So that is what is connected to the middle pin. It's very small. So I had to solder that wire to that one, which is going into the panel. And so that is what the 15 volts is doing, basically. Okay. And then um, this one is just, um, this one here is just a ground, ground wire. Okay. So technically what's happening is that the short is in the panel. And so the voltage that is going into the panel that is for vgh basically causes the whole thing to continue to restart okay so with this adjuster okay um i adjusted the voltage until i got to a place where the voltage will not cause the panel to start shutting down okay and so that was around 15. now the the, the image is improved a slightly well, I would say it's good because moving from moving from a, a, a TV that was not switching on, okay, to where it has gotten to, I would say it is kind of impressive, okay. Now, I got this thing from Amazon. It's very cheap. You can buy that. Now, if you don't want to do all these things, okay, all these things, just leave it at where I ended. Basically, connect this, this wire, okay, which is... Um, going into the panel just connect it to this this uh, capacitor here which gives about 13 something volts and that also gave a very good image so i'm now going to show you what the image looks like after just doing okay guys so this is what it looks like um after i did the little adjustment of adding the um, two volts using the um, step down the dc to dc step down now there are two things here i can't really conclude by saying that there was much of a difference or or there wasn't too much of a difference the reason why i say that is i didn't do the same process that power led electronics did now this is the channel that i have linked in the description now please do check it out and support the channel as much as possible because for him he had to take out all resistors on all the ck um, um the ck uh, from the ck1 to the ck8 and so his process is different i don't know if that is what would make the difference now it is very delicate to do so i didn't do that i decided to find out which pins had the problem and address those ones only okay so by adding the two volts um to the 13 that i was getting from that capacitor Okay, and then channeling it into the panel. It looks like the flickering has reduced on the left side. The, the lines are still there, but it looks like they are finer. They are a bit finer than before. It's very, it can be very, 
subjective um, depending on whoever is looking at it but i still find this fix also a good one because looking at a tv that was not that was basically not working it wouldn't switch on okay getting it to this stage i find that it is a good i still find that even though it is a temporary fix it is something that is good the picture image is still great if you look at what i'm looking at right now the picture quality hardly do you see the lines if you are if you are far away from the tv you would see the image clearly and everything seems to look good so even though it is not a permanent fix the issue was in the panel it is going to be difficult to fix but doing this temporarily until you get a tv i still find that it is also a good alternative okay so until i see you guys again in another fix peace